contest is set for one fall for the Devotion Championship Wrestling Tag Team Championships. I don't know if the Brothers Smith ever really faced anyone as violent as the Grunt Style Stable. This is a perfect example of the execution they are capable of. Rosella's got it in deep, and Brother Chatwin doesn't have her prayer. That's it. Pizzatoro and Roselle are your new Tag Team Champions. You want to earn this? What if I gave you an opportunity to make this yours? Washington has made shockwaves of tectonic portions throughout the locker room. I found a certain person that would love to rip you apart. Josh Glade is looking more tormented than ever. Washington's power is frightening. Played with a surge of intensity after getting the doll. That's it, folks. The Novel Warrior is a longtime friend of Manny Lemons. Known for his chops and not disappointing at all. Novel Warrior going over to see what's going on, and oh, Tom Chad gouges his eye. Novel Warrior going in. Tom Chad into a roll up. Oh, he's got his feet on the ropes. He stole it. He stole a win. And it's not enough for him. The lack of respect is disgusting. This is a message meant for Lemons. Can't somebody put an end to this? Manny coming out to aid his friend, Navajo Warrior. You have unfinished business with me. One last time, you give me one more shot at the DCW Heavyweight Championship. And I promise, if you're too scared, I will even let MK Bandit sit in the back to make sure the odds are even. Next week here on CW30, I beat you. You and that Gucci suit never come back to Salt Lake City ever again. From the Temple of the Great Watcher, with a total combined weight of 410 pounds, Brother Austin and Brother Chatwin, the Brothers Smith. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining us on this Sunday. I'm the Ciceroni, Lauren Gardner. Welcome to Devotion Championship Wrestling. It is scorching outside and the crowd is fired up as well. We've got the Brother Smith our inaugural tag team champions who lost their championship to the Grunt Style Stable last week. They're looking From to get Phoenix, it back. Arizona, with a combined weight of 450 pounds, accompanied by the first sergeant, the mercenary, Derek Pizzatoro, and Roman Roselle, the Grunt Style Stable. Every time I see this tag team in action, I am always impressed and frightened, to be honest. The Grunt Style Stable making their first defense of their newly won Tag Team Championships. Always in tow with them, the first sergeant himself, Tim Jensen. These gentlemen are here to do one thing, and that's bring the violence, their M.O. I'm sure today will be no different than in the past. But if there's one team that can pull out some sort of Deus Ex Machina and come out with a win, it would be the Brethren themselves. Checking in with he that is before their match, as they always do. Looks like Brother Austin will be starting out for Brother Smith, and the mercenary, Derek Pizzatoro, will be starting out for Grunt Style Stable. The bell has rung, and already the cheers for Bring the Violence for the Grunt Style Stable. Brother Chatwin trying to uh, trying to quell that as quickly as possible with a shame in return. Collar Nova tie-up for our two competitors right now into a wrist lock. Back into a hammer lock, and Brother Austin looking to get out of this some way, and he does it! Brother Austin pulling that trick out of the hat, followed up by a deep arm drag, and a shame to boot, followed by another deep arm drag. Brother Austin pulling out 
three consecutive defensive moves to his advantage. Someone has been training and gaining, continuing with this defensive attack. Not often you see that. I, I am definitely seeing some gains paying off here for brother Austin. He's got the headlock on tight enough. Yes, he does. Able to roll through. Beautifully done. Let's go. Let's go. Brother Austin really able to link quite a few moves together here. They say steel sharpens steel, and I think, I really think that's what the Grunt Style Stable has done for our tag team division. They have made everyone really step up their game, and we're seeing it today. Off the ropes, able to dodge into the not so loving arms. Oh, and a kidney breaker. Puts brother Austin, he is gonna be feeling that for the next couple of mornings when he wakes up, there is no doubt. Oh, a perfectly executed roundhouse kick. Puts brother Austin apparently out. He is ragdoll dead weight to say the least. Derek Pizzatoro now using the dead weight of Austin and tags in brother Chatwin. I mean, I'm no Sybil Trelawney, but I think Brother Chatwin might be on the wrong side of some violence rocks. In comes Roman Rizel. Oh my goodness sakes, proving you don't need shorts to have ups. Chatwin now delivers a leg hook Saito suplex. The Brother Smith, I have never seen these guys executing everything so well followed up by a cravat jawbreaker, hooks the leg and goes to, oh, broken up by the mercenary, Derek Pizzatoro. But the former first cavalryman, Roselle comes in like a barrage of Sabat rounds, penetrating any sort of defense that brother Chatwin had going for him. Chatwin to his feet and goes back down as Pizzatoro fires at him like a fire and forget javelin. Tag is made. Rizal comes in, we know what's coming next. The shell is loaded. The M1A2. Rizal gets into position, one, two, and that's it, folks. Congratulations, Grunt Style Stable, your first defense of what I can assume to be many more to come. Coming up, folks, we have a non-title match between OBW's champion, Tony Gunn, and the enforcer, Marlon Bishop. And in our main event, Sam Adonis in a rematch against Manny Lemon looks to steal the title. But if Manny wins, Sam will never come back to Salt Lake City. Now, who is, who is this? What are, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's the complete package. That's Tony Bizzo and Anthony Katina. They are fellow roster members of OVW with the Grunt Style Stable. And this is, this is just gratuitous. Come on now, come on guys. Not even, you're not even booked. Could, do we have anything else ready? Could, get, get the cameras off of these guys. These tools don't deserve the TV time. They haven't heard it. Are they standing by? Okay. Sam Adonis and the MK Bandit are standing by backstage. Salt Lake City tonight is the night. Sam Adonis against Manny Lemons once again for the DCW Heavyweight Championship. You see, we've torn this building down multiple times, but tonight it's different. Tonight, Manny's head's not in the game because his ego has got the best of him. He bit the hand that fed him and he took advantage of a very wise, smart man, Tom Chad. Tonight, Manny's not gonna be paying attention about winning or losing. He's gonna need eyes in the back of his head to make sure that somebody doesn't come out and get the revenge they truly deserve. You know, I'm so confident tonight, and I'm sorry, I don't mean to do this to you. I'm so confident that I will win this title tonight that we can bar you from ringside. I don't even need your help because I know that I will beat Manny Lemons and leave this town with a second belt around my waist and I will come back and make this city mine and be the hero and role model that these idiots in this small town need. Get ready, Manny. You start counting down the time right now. Enjoy it while you can because it's over. Yeah. 
You want this? You gotta take out Washington. You understand me? You've already screwed me once. All right? Last time will be the final time. And I will give this to you when I see fit. What's all the noise going on here? This meat sack just wants the dog. Is he okay? He's fine. Are you sure? Positive. Do we need to call a doctor? No more doctors. Why? Because he doesn't need one, all right? All he wants is this. That's it. And he's Why? not going to get it. Why don't you give it to him? Because he hasn't done what we promised. What he promised me, all right? But it's his, isn't it? You know what? If it shuts you both up, five minutes. Puke on it. Cuddle it. Love it. Second thought, don't puke on it. Because at the end of five minutes, I'm taking it back. See, Sherry? Out of my way. It's caring. I like your baby. Following contest is a non-title match scheduled for one fall. Hailing from Jonesboro, Arkansas, weighing in at 215 pounds, the OVW heavyweight champion, Shotgun Tony Gunn! Coming out of Ohio Valley Wrestling, here is Tony Gunn. He is their current champion, and for good reason, Gunn, a 16-year veteran of professional wrestling, who has been in OVW since 2011, quite some time. Let's see if he can hold up From against Motor the Enforcer. From Motor City, Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 280 pounds, the Enforcer, Marlon Bishop! Coming through the curtain, Marlon Bishop, the Enforcer, Telling you folks, keep an eye on him. This guy's the real deal. Started very strong when he first debuted here in Devotion Championship Wrestling. Had a bit of a rough patch with a, an injury to a shoulder, which has been exploited ever since. But as of late, he has been on quite a roll. And I think, definitely when it comes to the reach and weight advantage, it is soundly stacked on the side of Marlon Bishop. But Tony has a vast experience advantage on the enforcer Marlon Bishop. I think we are in for a heck of a match. Marlon Bishop, ever the gentleman. Whoa. The OVW champion showing why he is known as a loner. He don't need no hand in anything. You know, normally I would say that Gunn has the advantage in stamina here, but Gunn is coming from Louisville, Kentucky, and while he's definitely accustomed to triple digit heat like we have going on today, he's not accustomed to this altitude which Bishop has been training in since he moved to Denver. Now, Tony taking umbrage with being tossed around the ring by Bishop, but Bishop soundly able to move the 214 pound Tony across. Oh, Lariat puts down the OVW champion. Bishop winds up, goes for a third Lariotto. And look at the intensity in the eyes of Bishop. He is hyper focused right now. However, the longer this goes on, I, I have to say that I think we're gonna see a larger gap in the styles between both of these athletes. I think we're, it's gonna come down to a match of finesse versus force. TG comes off the apron for a crossbody, but there is the force of Bishop, of which I was just speaking, into a fireman carry now. Is he gonna go to the ring post? Yes, but not in the way he intended. That is the Wiley Ackman of the OVW champion. Jumps in, breaks the count again. This guy has been in the game for so long, he knows all the tricks of the trade. Puts Bishop back in, now ascending on to the top rope, not on the turnbuckle itself. Very wobbly, but great for a springboard knee, which puts Bishop to pine. Our junior senior official, Max Larson, an enforcer in and of himself, as we saw last week, but into a pin goes 
Gunn, Gunn's feeling so confident right now. He's not even attempting to bring a leg into the pin or cradle at all. And I think he's underestimating the sheer force. Atta boy, Max Larson. I told you, he is an enforcer in and of himself and quickly becoming a favorite of the devoted faithful, as you can tell. Jawbreaker from Bishop puts the OVW champion into the corner. And now again, the guy is so smart when it comes to using wrestling to his advantage, the rules, the ring, everything about it. But you can't use the rules when it comes to a giant spine buster like that. Despite having trained in this altitude and familiar with this heat, Bishop is expending more energy to move more weight around and it is taking its toll on him. The crowd getting behind Marlon Bishop, clearly their favorite for this bout and rightfully so. Bishop blocks the roundhouse and delivers one of his own. Another is blocked and delivered. Can Bishop keep this momentum going off of the ropes? A big shoulder tackle followed by a second. And Tony is feeling the effects of the 280 pound former professional football player. Have you ever been hit by a freight train? Well, ask TG, he'll tell you how it feels. Marlon Bishop with that hyper-focused look again in his eyes, scoops up into a fireman carry. Are we going to see the Bishop's Cross? One, two, that's it, folks. What a match. There is something electric in the audience. Whenever this man comes out to the ring, you can just feel the crowd buzzing. This was a non-title bout, so Tony's still the OVW champion, but I can't help but think promoters, journalists, matchmakers will hear about this match, this upset, and take notice of Marlon Bishop. Sam Adonis. Many Lemons, Tom Chad, tear each other apart. Go at one another. Because in the end, I'll be the last man standing. And I'm going to bring that DCW Heavyweight Championship home. Marlon Bishop, you better believe it. Every damn week I show up ready, and I show up ready to fight. And I get damn pissed off if my name ain't on that card. I want to earn my living like every man out there. And there's only one way to do that. That's by getting down and dirty like only old Tubestone can. So next week, we're going to do things a little different. I'm going to issue an open challenge to anybody in the back. And don't make me come looking for you. Because when it comes to a good old ass kicking, Tombstone Jesus is your man. All right. I would love to see you kick my ass. Yeah? See you next week, cowgirl. All right. Not focused? Not ready? This is professional wrestling. This is what I do. And though we founded Devotion Championship Wrestling, I'm here just like everybody else. Here for a challenge, here for a fight. Am I the biggest? Nope. Am I the boldest? No. Am I the toughest? You're damn right I'm the toughest. Because hard work beats talent any day of the week. And Sam Adonis, just to beat me, you are going to have to kill me to beat the man who's got a plan? Keep the lemon out the hand, baby. From Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 245 pounds, Sweetness, Sam Adonis. DCW Championship action coming at you right now. Sam Adonis, a man who is respected by none and he wouldn't have it any other way. Looking to grab gold tonight. And his opponent, Luck Ty from the Lemon 
country at 222 pounds, Manny Neville! Listen to that crowd reaction. The devoted faithful more than happy to stand up alongside their champion, Manny Lemons. We know that these two can take each other all the way straight up to a stalemate. We'll see if one of them can get the job done tonight. Sam Adonis with apparently some, some hand sanitizer. Uh, Adonis obviously patronizing those of us who are taking precautions in our public health and safety, but Manny putting it up to the devoted faithful. He, he says he'll do it, and that's what he gets for doing anything that Sam Adonis wants. Our commandant of officials, referee Dewey Larson, officiating this match. Beautiful, beautiful snap suplex, getting some air horizontally. Now, I understand Sam Adonis is a garbage person, but he's one heck of a wrestler. Uh, you know, it just it frustrates me when I see these professionals who have all the talent in the world and could skyrocket to new heights, but then they just gotta have this ego that serves no one except themselves. And in, in fact, it actually does them a disservice. The devoted faithful cheering on the DCW founder, and he is gaining strength. Oh, beautiful elbow right into the sternum of Adonis, and now Adonis on his heels as the momentum has shifted onto the side of the DCW champion. He's taking him to the four corners. Adonis getting his bell rung and backdropped into a steaming hot slice of humble pie. Lemons goes for the pin, two, kicks out at two. Very interesting to see Sam Adonis out here. We have not seen him in the ring at DCW sans Matthew Robles. Usually the not so invisible hand that is always pushing to give his favorites an advantage. I mean, FSE, Federal Sports Entertainment Championship. That's, that's Matthew Robles. He is the director of, of Federal Sports Entertainment. So obviously the title may not be as big a sham as is that of the DSWWIC. Goes for a pin here, one, two. Kicking out at two, Adonis frustrated. But obviously, Matthew Robles is playing favorites with the position that he holds, and I'm, I for one am, am more than happy that he is not ringside. Of course, if Manny does pull this off tonight, Sam Adonis to never return to Salt Lake City again. Adonis with an extremely tight gable grip chin lock on Manny Lemons. The devoted faithful in unison getting behind the man with the plan. And Lemons able to break the grip, hooks the leg, drops him down on his knee. Gosh, innovative and extremely painful. I can only imagine Continuing the onslaught on that leg now. Lemons targets the knee again. Adonis able to get up and then is put squarely on his posterior, going for a pinfall, kicks out at two. You know, as hot as it is today, I can only imagine that both of these competitors want to seal the deal and get a win as quickly as possible. Adonis to the second turnbuckle and a diving neck breaker. Oh boy, yeah, our, our official checking on Manny Lemons to make sure he's doing okay. That was, that was vicious. He's doing well enough to kick out at two. The feeling of acrimony felt by the devoted faithful being audibly displayed here. And honestly, this is, this is exactly what I thought was going to happen. These two have just met each other tit for tat. A vertical suplex puts Manny into the mat, dead center of the ring. Adonis goes for a pin, and he is frustrated to no end. Obviously, great position for our official. He can't be angry at anyone but himself. There now, we can see 
having troubles with that left knee that Manny was targeting earlier. And now going to the top turnbuckle in position. Manny out of the way though in time. And Adonis is met with a punch to the gut for all of his troubles. Now Manny looking for a figure four. And it's in. It is in right in the center of the ring. He has got nowhere else to go. The devoted faithful pining for what they want. A submission, his back is down, the official counts. With the figure four, the place that it hurts the least is completely supine, but at that point you're getting pinned, so Adonis looking to alleviate the stress, but goes down to his back. Lemons cranking on it as hard as he can, making sure that Adonis great, great ring positioning, posturing by Lemons to keep it. Oh, wait, wait a second. What is he? Great job by our official, making sure that Matthew, no, he's still there. What's he, come on, man. What are you, oh no. Oh, the hand sanitizer. He just poured pure rubbing alcohol, essentially, into the eyes of that can make him go blind. Oh, he just underhanded to a dot. It's his heel brass knuckles. He, he just tossed Adonis his brass knuckles. The official has gone out of the ring to try and get Robles out of the arena, but oh no, this is, this is not good. Oh, Manny able to block it. Beautifully done, but Tom Chad, Tom Chad is in the ring. Tom Chad with the championship. Levels, Manny Lemons. Lemons is out. Lemons is completely out. Calling for the ref to come back now, Adonis, but Manny is cold cocked. He is out. Manny is not moving at all. Adonis gets into position for the pinfall. Oh no, one, two. That's it, folks. Your new DCW champion. We should have known better. We should have known that no matter what, Matthew Robles would interject and make and get his own way. That's that's just the way that this man operates. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining us for this hot and gut-wrenching episode. Until next time, stay devoted. Now I will kill you.